Hey guys, what is up? We are here with another video, and so today, as you can see in the title, we're doing a vegan fried chicken mukbang. We're doing cauliflower fried chicken. I got this whole big thing because this is how much a whole like head of cauliflower made. I'm not gonna eat it all, of course, and my hair is crazy, so just don't mind my hair. I need to get it cut, and I also need to comb it. I have my comb over there. I'll comb it in a minute. And since I'm not vegan, because I'm not vegan, I used to be vegan for, I think, a year and a half. And then I switched over to vegetarian. Um, so I have some ranch here that I'm going to eat with my cauliflower chicken, I guess. I have never tried cauliflower fried chicken. I've tried to make, like, the baked uh, hot wing version. Didn't come out good, so I scrapped that. But then I understood, like, why, because it was, like, very, like, soggy and nasty. So hopefully these are a lot better. They look a lot better than uh, things that I've made before. If you guys want the recipe to these, um, ask me and I'll like uh, give you the link to the YouTuber that I got them from. It's from Ghetto Vegans, I think. It's from Ghetto Vegans, cauliflower and mushroom fried chicken, something like that. But um, so oh, because my sister's supposed to be joining us and. I'll have her taste this, but right now I'm just going to start without her because she's taking too long. She's on the phone with her friend. So we're going to get started, and this is going to be my first try, and I'm going to get something that looks like, actually like a little, like, hot wing. Well, because these, they're, like, very, like, like, reddish brown because they, like, the recipe called for hot sauce in the batter. So it has, like, some hot sauce, and my mouth is watering. I'm so fat, you guys. Okay. So we're going to dip this in here. Now let's try this. is my first impression on cauliflower. Even if I don't like it, I have to eat it all because I can't be wasting food. It's really confusing. Because the thing is, when you first bite into it, you're like, okay, this is chicken. But then you get the other textures and the inside like doesn't have that much of a flavor, so you're only getting the flavor from the skin. So it tastes like chicken. I don't know how to explain that. Cause it tastes good. I feel like the flour that I used could have had more seasoning and more salt because like it doesn't have that much salt in it. But it is good. I have some in here that I didn't bread like the rest of them. Some of them I like breaded with um, like a uh, cereal instead of like, cause regularly the recipe said that um, you're supposed to like dip it in batter, then the flour, then the batter again, then the flour again. This one, instead of the second time me dipping it in the flour, I just dipped it in a uh, Rice Krispie cereal. And we're gonna try that one. Oh, this one's very, like, slippery, like it didn't stick. It tastes the same. I feel like the ones without the cereal have probably had more flavor. Mm. But it is good. Like, I can see somebody eating this. I can see somebody saying that it tastes like chicken. But it's good. Mm. I'm just getting ranch everywhere. Like, the thing is, I can see why people would say it tastes like chicken. Mmm. I wouldn't say personally that it's like a good like substitute for chicken. It's definitely like a healthier option, but it's not like like a replacer of chicken. I'll probably just like, eat all the ones that look like chicken. Cause some of these got coated very well and then some of them like didn't. So they didn't like fry correctly. Or I don't know if I just like didn't fry it for long enough. It just wasn't turning like brown like this. 
the like the stalks. It's like the breading didn't stick to the stalks. So it was like very slippery. Mm. And they're still hot because I literally just got finished making these. And I have like some really big pieces that I didn't want to break down, so I just fry them up like as they were. Like um, this big piece here. I don't know, I think it's really good though. And crunchy. I don't think this is healthy from like all the oil that it was fried in. I just got a lot of ranch on me. Hmm. So, while we're eating, we're just gonna talk about some things going on in my life. So, um, there have been some fallouts with my friends, mm, some getting back together with my friends, mm, some noticing a lot of things. Oh, I put a lot of pepper in that. Either that or it's like the, it's like a spice. It's either the pepper or um, the crushed red pepper flakes. But um, yeah, um, I uh, fell out with a lot of my friends, came back together with a lot of them. I'm reconciling about my own issues. <laughs> oh, I'm about to get a job, another job soon, cause mama quit. <laughs> um, but I'm about to get another job soon. And hopefully save up a lot of money because as soon as uh, the next semester of school comes around, I'm out, out of here. This one's like a very good like piece. There are some of these that are burnt that I really want to taste because I love like even whenever I like chicken because I used to eat chicken at one point in time. But I just stopped liking it. Like, that's how I was with meat all together. Like, I just stopped liking it at some point. So I just cut out meat. And the hard part was, like, dairy for me. So <laughs> I'm back to dairy. But, um, I always like the burnt, like, skin pieces. Like, the burnt pieces of, uh, chicken. Mm. It is really good, though. Uh, it has like a bit of a spice to it. I really appreciate it though. This one, I like the fact that I had like flat pieces there. Because that made it a lot easier frying. Because like some of these, if when I was frying them, I would have it to like the bottom and it would get stuck and like pieces would come off. So that's why I like these parts a lot more because I could like sit these down. And um, they would fry completely. I'm gonna go in a minute, go maneuvering for those burnt pieces. I need to have like a counter up for like how many pieces of this that I've eaten. Cause I don't know, like it doesn't feel like it'll get me full, but I can like feel like the creeping up of me getting full. I don't know how to explain the taste. I can say it doesn't taste like cauliflower. Like if you ever have tried cauliflower rice or like actually like cauliflower, cauliflower, um, or cauliflower, it doesn't taste like that. Cause like usually whenever I eat cauliflower, it has like a very like strong flavor. I don't really taste it and I think it's because I fried it. The fact that you can't really taste the cauliflower that much. I put too much ranch on here. Hmm. I wish I had water. Hmm. But I'm actually about to go apply for a job right now to somewhere that's like right by my house. Because I need to start making money. I'm going to try and see if I can get two jobs. Just so I can like be having it coming in. Especially because my school sch schedule isn't like very like hectic. I probably have like three classes a day or two. I know one of them I have two classes a day and the other one I have like three. 
but it's not that hard. Um, oh, some of these got soggy. Any ants could have left them in here. I want to look for those burnt ones. Oh, and there's like little small ones that I want to try because I had small ones and I put them in there. I think this one's a kind of burnt one with some burnt pieces. Got it on my nose. Mm. But yeah, I would recommend eating this. It is kind of really good. And I think it's a lot better than if you like eating if you were eating like regular fried chicken. Hello. Lame. My brother just walked in. That's very awkward. Um, my neighbors were also like, cause there's, I live like right across from like a trailer park. And like my window, if I have my uh, blinds up, you can see like right into the, the like garage sort of. There's like a little awning where they put their cars. And my neighbor was outside doing something to her car. And she was just staring at me while I'm just eating my cauliflower chicken. Yeah, I'm not explaining this flavor. Oof. My goodness. I see look like this. This is the big piece. And I don't know how like that's gonna taste. Ooh. Here's a here's a small piece. I should probably let these fry longer because I really did want them to be like the small pieces to be like extra crispy. Hmm. Mm. There's a small one that I didn't let fry long at all. Mm. The small ones definitely taste more like um more like cauliflower. I could taste the cauliflower in that one. Hmm. It tastes good though. I like the flavor, the uh, skin is very seasoned. Mm. I'm gonna try and eat all the burnt ones before my sister comes. Okay, I think this is the last one that I'm gonna eat. And when she gets here, I'll let her eat some. I have 12 minutes of me eating by myself. Mm. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna pick this up. Okay, here we go. I'm definitely full. Damn, I don't know how much that was. I, if I put a, a number of how many I ate, then you'll see. But I'm full after that. I really need something to drink. But I also am going to go get my sister and have her taste these. We'll be back. It's cauliflower. Yes. It's some bullshit. It is. So, I already tried like. I don't know, like eight to 12 of them, one of those. I tried a lot of these already. And um, I told them that it didn't taste like chicken because <laughs> everybody that was trying it, they were like, oh. everybody that was trying it, they were like, oh yeah, it tastes like chicken. Oh, you're recording. Yes, I've been recording. I told you I already started. <laughs> but um, so I tried it and it doesn't taste like chicken. It doesn't taste like cauliflower either, which was, which threw me off a surprise. So like, just tell me like which piece do you want? That one looks like herpes. Uh, but which piece do you want to eat? This one, this yeah, one, small. this one. This one. Okay. Oh, this stock is like kind of slippery. Cause like I fried these, so I have ranch there if you want to dip in ranch. Oh. Five seconds. Okay. Do you want to dip it in ranch? I think the breading is probably the best part of it. Cause I don't think it's nasty. I just. It doesn't have that much of a flavor. You don't like it? It doesn't taste like shit. 
and you can't curse on my channel. Oh my god, doesn't taste like nothing. I know, I tried it. I think the breading has flavor to me. And the ranch with the, the aftertaste. I, oh, this is the one that, another one of the ones uh, that I fried with, like, Rice Krispie Treats. Can, like, you eat that and I'll eat something else? What do you mean? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys. We were so rudely interrupted by one of my friends calling me, asking me if we were so going to go to the Houston Grand Prix. Oh my goodness, my skin looks so good on here. Why is it only on here, though? Um, but yeah. So, that's the end of this mukbang. I demolished a lot of it. Um, I feel sick now. I ate, like, two more off camera. My eyebrows, like, glued to my face. I need to go wash my face now because it feels oily. But yeah, so I'll talk to you guys. <laughs> I just got throat congested. I'll talk to you guys later in another video. Goodbye. <laughs>